All right, guys. So super easy vi video today. What uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do is just install these WAD files onto our SD card real fast. Um, what these will do, they'll allow you to play GameCube backup games straight from your USB drive or uh, you know USB flash drive, external hard drive, whatever you're using. So we'll go ahead, just click on computer real fast. Now I've already got them all installed, so I'm just gonna click cancel. But here we are. You can see I've already got the first one installed there. So just drag and drop them over. And uh, for that right there, we're basically done. Now we're going to go ahead and head over to the Wii and get this set up. If you haven't watched the DM Toolbox video by me or somebody else yet, I recommend doing so. Just because you can't drag and drop an ISO of a GameCube game straight over. Um, you do have to run the program and have it install that in the game folder you've created on the root of the USB drive. So go ahead and watch that video if you haven't already. Um, that way once you get you know these installed, which takes a couple minutes, um, you'll be able to jump on and start playing right away. Alright, so we are back over at the Wii now. What we want to go ahead and do, we'll press A. We're going to head over to the Homebrew channel and um, go to the Multi-Mod Manager real quick and install these WADs, which it's not here. That's strange. Oh well, where did that go? We Mod. Same thing, a little bit of a different layout. So, WAD Manager. Go ahead, we're going to press the plus button to uh, mark for batch install. Go ahead, select the two D2X V10s. The Dias Myas 2.10. The DMLR mod. Both Quad Forces. And the RVL Myas Y. All right, go ahead and press A. Yes, we would like to proceed. And so if you weren't able to play GameCube games before, we have, well, in a second here, four wads left, and you will be able to. Hopefully you've already watched the uh, DM Toolbox, hopefully my video, if not somebody else's video, to get the, um, the games onto your USB flash drive and all set up and everything. So, alright, they're all done. Press the B button, press the B button, press the Home button. Yeah. I think it's the same thing for Multi-Mod Manager. I think you can ju just press B three times and it'll be out there. But And we'll just... Uh, exit to system menu real quick. I already have uh, Mario Party 5 installed on a flash drive, so if this all went successfully, which I'm 99.999% sure that it has, we should be able to play it. Mario Party 5, Nintendo GameCube. Need to install, I just installed it. Did I not, did we not just install that? Exit. Homebrew. could have swore we just installed D Dias Myas Lite, or not the Lite version, but the full version, but maybe I missed it. I thought I did it.
let's go back over and try it again. Yeah, I, okay, I guess I didn't select it. My bad. <laughs> but anyways, you should hear your disk drive open now or, you know, try to eject a disk. Um, some games will require you to have a disk inserted, you know, any Wii disk, any GameCube disk. Um, any of those are fine. So anyways, guys, that's how you do it. Pretty simple. Just the installation of a couple extra files. So, where's my GameCube controller at? Press start. And as you can see, it works just fine. Except for I don't have a memory card in, but... What would you like to do? I would like to quit because, I, you know... Uh, you know, l let's just retry it. Maybe it'll uh, magically pop the memory card in there. I don't know. But anyways, guys, that is the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and like the video. Make sure you subscribe. Um, I've got a little giveaway going on right now for some employee-only Xbox One stickers. So if you are watching this video as soon as I put it out, make sure you pick a number. There's only 30 slots available, and I think there's like 28 left. Um, but I will be doing more giveaways, so if you subscribe, you will have a chance to win. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed.